Public Safety Category winner, the City of Malden. Too often, police and youth meet during bad circumstances. A broken up house party, a car accident, an act of vandalism. Malden's zero tolerance policy, regardless of age or circumstance, caused a distrusting relationship between officers and area youth. Our main goal when we started this was to be able to bring our kids in our community and our police department together. Uh, a lot of times we're seen as being the bad guys and uh, we're not always the bad guys. In some situations we, we do have to make tough choices. Uh, but what we try to do is bring those kids together and say, hey, listen, um, you know, this is what we're here for. This is what we want to do. And, and try to provide a buy-in. And, and our police officers had to buy into the, to the, to the things that we were doing. Malden officials made it a priority to improve the police department's relationship with local teenagers. Officers put aside their zero tolerance stance and launched four youth initiatives, Youth Court, Malden Explorers, Youth Academy, and the Fifth Quarter. The Malden Youth Court allows first-time offenders to avoid the juvenile justice system. With the municipal judge presiding, local high school students run the trial as if it were a traditional court of law. A jury of the offender's peers hands down sentencing, which usually involves community service, tutoring, or an essay. Teens who have gone through youth court have a recidivism rate 5 percent lower than the state average. I've gained so much from this program, um, not only self-confidence, um, but also uh, Officer Tench and the Malden Police Department has helped me gain more of an insight into the whole law process, the judicial process, and everything about that, and it's really helped me gain more knowledge. A second program, the Malden Explorer Program, allows officers to interact directly with high school students. Students learn about careers in law enforcement through hands-on activities and mentoring opportunities. The city looks to this group as potential candidates when hiring police officers. In the third program, the Youth Academy, officers work with at-risk middle school students to build self-esteem and character. After the four-week program, each student is matched up with an officer for a year-long mentorship. The final program, the fifth quarter, offers students an alternative to hanging out in parking lots after home football games. Officers host a get-together at the local skating rink, serving free food and giving out prizes. Officials want to expand the successful program into basketball season. The goals of these four programs moving forward would be to enhance uh, what has already been accomplished, which is a different uh, relationship between the students and the school resource officers, a different relationship between the schools and the, and the city hall, and a different relationship with the community at large being more proactive and preventative in nature than uh, regressive and punitive. So I think uh, getting more education, more information out, uh, students that graduate these programs, uh, we're going to continue to build on uh, the success of what we've had over the last three years. Through these four programs, Malden police officers can be tough on crime, but still have positive interactions with area youth. <laughs>